Hello friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Anna and today I want to talk about visualization in Python. I'm going to find out what Python libraries to use and in what cases. Personally, when I should make some graphs or charts, I always think about different Python libraries and to be honest, it takes some time to choose the one. I have always the same questions like uh, what Python libraries is better for this or that graphs. So that's why I've decided to make this video and to help you also to choose needed library quickly and easy. So if you're interested in this topic, please continue watching up to the very end. Python offers multiple great graphing libraries uh, that includes different features. So you can create a line plot, bar chart, 3D scatter plot, or interactive scientific or financial chart, and any other graphic of small or big data sets. And some libraries might be better in specific cases. So let's identify this together. And the first library that I want to start with is Matplotlib. Sleep. Matplotlib is one of the most popular and actually oldest <laughs> visualizing tool using Python. It's 2D plotting library. You can generate and use plots, bar charts, histograms, and etc. It's really easy to see the property of data using Matplotlib because you're able to generate and create these plots like in seconds. And sometimes it's super helpful when you're doing analyzing some data, you need to understand what is going on here. What is going on? You just use Matplotlib and see like the distribution or other features. So yes, Matplotlib can plot anything, but there is one disadvantage. It can be complex to plot some non-basic plots or to adjust uh, the simple plots. This is because Matplotlib has low-level interface. Most of the Matplotlib utilities uh, lie under PyPlot submodule and usually imported under the PLT allies. So let's see some examples of graphs. Go to matplotlib.org website, click examples, and here you may find the examples of different types of plots like basic, some statistic plots. So click on the graph that you're interested in, you see the code, and plus you can also download the Python source code. So it's easy to implement and use it in your daily work. By the way, you can find great instructions on the matplotlib.org site. So don't hesitate to use also some instructions to see how to build everything and see actually the options. Next is Seaborn. Seaborn is also one of the most popular uh, Python visualization library and it's based on Matplotlib. And by the way, if you're willing to have high level interface and create attractive, like nice and different types of graphics and charts, Seaborn will help you. Seaborn aims to make visualization a central part of analyzing data. And the main advantage of this library is that it requires less code. So in other words, it really provides similar graphics like Matplotlib, but with less code and high level interface. For example, you can create graphs in one line that would take multiple lines in Matplotlib. Its standard designs are awesome and, and it also has a nice interface for working with Pandas data frame. But if to compare Matplotlib and Seaborn in terms of a variety of plots, graphs and charts, uh, you will definitely find more types of uh, these items in my Matplotlib than in Seaborn. So pay attention to this detail, especially if you have some specific kind of uh, graph needs to be visualized. When it comes to interactive Python visualization tools, uh, Plotly has a top place. Plotly has its all 3D graphics, line plots, scatter plots, uh, area charts, etc. By the way, you can use Plotly on, in online and offline modes. The main advantage of this library is that it's easy to create interactive plots. The syntaxes in Plotly 
is simple. As you already understand, it's much more interactive and visually flexible than Matplotlib or Seaboard. By the way, interactive plots make it easier for viewers to see uh, the data in every detail and to have a closer look at each data point. It should be noticed that if you would like to make dashboards, uh, Plotly is not so good library as Bokeh. So this is the next library that I want to tell you about. This library allows you to create dashboards, interactive plots and data applications. If you are looking for a library that is able to create network graph visualization or some geographical data like Google, Maps or etc. Try Bokeh. Bokeh can be both used as high-level or low-level interface, so it really can create many sophisticated graphs that Matplotlib creates, but with fewer lines of code and higher resolution. If you need to make links between plots, Bokeh makes it easy, so it means that changes applied in one plot will be applied in another plot automatically. As I already mentioned, Bokeh requires less code uh, than Matplotlib, but in comparison with Seaborn and Plotly, it takes more lines of code uh, to depict and show the same graphs. I would like to add some peculiarities of other libraries. For example, PyGal. This library allows you to create SVGs. And another library that I want to tell you about is Dash. Dash is the Python framework for building web applications. So it really allows you to create data visualization apps with highly custom user interface in Python. If you need to make a lot of data statistical transformation, the entire Python library will help you. It has simple code and it makes it really easy to transform the data while creating the plots. You can create many linked interactive charts. You can automatically choose useful plot settings and configurations. So you basically can be concentrated on data, not on the mechanism of plotting. But if you have the data frame with more than 5,000 samples, it's not recommended to use this library. Okay, guys, if you ask me how often do I do visualization in my daily work, I should say that not so often, it's not a part of my tasks, uh, but I should say that sometimes you really need to understand what is going on in your data to have a closer look and it's really easier to do uh, by using these graphs and charts and when someone asks you to show some data and this person doesn't familiar with data analysis some statistical indicators you will do the charts and graphs for sure to let him or her understand uh, your data so understand what kind of library and what library should you use is super important because I know on my experience that sometimes you spend like uh, half an hour by choosing the libraries because you don't familiar with visualization, you don't do it so often, so you need to Google to understand uh, which graph is better to draw. Uh, to create. Um, so yeah, it's better to have understanding that Matplotlib is super easy, uh, but you can't draw like cool and interactive um, and nice uh, design uh, graphs or charts. Uh, Seaborn is with high level interface. Uh, interactive plots are plotly altars. If you need SVG, you need Pygal and etc. So I hope this video was interesting and useful for you. And do not forget about Pandas library. Yes, it's not a visualization library, but you're able to quickly generate some graph or chart to see the you know, trends of data and etc. Uh, so guys, yes, I hope this video was useful for you and now you understand in what cases you're able to use what libraries. Uh, if you have some questions, uh, don't forget to ask me in the comments. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you soon in my videos.